Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I want to speak to my God ordained spouses who are standing for your God ordained love story to come together um, by God. I want to speak to you and I want to just give you some encouragement in knowing that God is correcting mindsets in this season. God is, um, you know, bringing truth to where there were lies, you know, once said about you. Okay, because um, these lies are one of the things that the enemy is using to keep your God ordained prodigal spouse away from you. And so God is correcting wrongful, you know, um, things that were said about you. He is bringing truth, um, to the light and he is clearing your name. Okay. So get excited about this, but I want to turn your attention to the book of Matthew because God gave me a dream, um, about this, about the correction that is taking place. Um, and I want to share this with you um, because I've read the scripture several times, but I never read it the way how God broke it down to me. So let's go to the book of Matthew chapter one. Let's start at verse 18 and we're going to read all the way down. Now, this is talking about the birth of Jesus. OK, the birth of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to follow me here. OK, remember God is correcting mindset. This is what we are talking about here. He is correcting your God or day prodigal spouse mindset concerning you, okay? Because there were lies spoken about you that your God or day prodigal spouse is believing to be true. And that is the very, that is one of the things that is keeping him away, him or her away from you, okay? So in the book of Matthew chapter one, verse 18, Let's read. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. Now, let me slow down. So Mary, the Virgin Mary, right? She was a virgin engaged to be married to Joseph. Um, somewhere in this process, she became pregnant with baby Jesus, right? And so when Joseph, her husband, found out about his wife being pregnant, um, when she's supposed to be a virgin, he, he um, had in mind to divorce her quietly, okay? Now, Verse 20, but after he had considered this, so let me stop right there. So he had in mind to divorce Mary based off a lie, okay, the enemy planted in his mind because the enemy had Joseph thinking Mary just got pregnant by another man. The enemy didn't tell Joseph, Mary, your wife is carrying um, you know, the enemy didn't say the way how Mary, your wife got pregnant was by the Holy Spirit and, and, and didn't reveal what she's carrying. No, the enemy went on ahead and placed in his mind. She cheated. She is pregnant by another man. And because he's a righteous man and he didn't want to put her through the public disgrace, he had in his mind, I'm going to go ahead and divorce her quietly. Do you see the trick of the enemy? Right? So verse 20 but after he had considered this, so after he had made up his mind, he thought about it, he planned it, you know, he planned it all out. He said, okay, this is my decision. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Let's stop right there. So we see fear. It's another thing that is in the way, that's interfering in this God-ordained love story, okay? So we got wrongful thinking. We have fear interfering in this God-ordained love story that's trying to convince Joseph to divorce Mary, okay? It said, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. He about to tell him the truth because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. See, Holy Spirit, um, the angel came in and said, uh-uh, I'm about to go ahead and uproot this lie and bring truth to the situation. He said, what is, con what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Verse 21, now he's about to reveal to Joseph purpose. 
she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All they say all this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Now, after truth was revealed to Joseph, after God corrected his mindset concerning his wife, verse 24, when Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. So let me tell you something, because we are in a season where God is correcting wrongful things that were said about you. He is bringing truth to where there were lies. He is... um. You know, he's changing mindsets concerning you. Okay, so you don't have to say anything. You don't have to try to, you know, prove yourself to anyone or um, you don't have to do anything. Allow the Lord to fight on your behalf, okay? Because he's going to shed light where light needs to be shed at. He's going to bring correction where it is needed, okay? And here's the other thing that I want to point out to you because... Your God-ordained prodigal spouse, he or she is unaware of the, the bigger picture, right? They may be focused on, okay, God just, you know, God wants us to come together and marry. But it's bigger than marriage. You see the angel revealed to Joseph purpose. This is why Mary is, is, is um, pregnant with this baby, she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. He revealed, um, the angel revealed to Joseph, this is the purpose of why, number one, Joseph, I assign you to Mary. Okay, this is the purpose. This is why I want you and her to come together in marriage. Okay, the two of you are going to be parents to baby Jesus, right? And he's going to be the one God used to save the world. And so in this correction, God is going to reveal to your God or day and spouse um, his purpose. He's going to reveal to him or her. It's bigger than marriage. It's bigger than just a marriage. This is purpose and calling. Okay. This is assignment. Okay. I'm trying to establish a new generational bloodline here okay this is why i chose the two of you okay so he's going god is going to reveal to your god ordained prodigal spouse it's bigger than marriage he's going to reveal okay this is the purpose and the plan i have for you coming together in marriage with this particular individual and once your god ordained uh, prodigal spouse received that correction and 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 purpose is revealed he's going to do like joseph it said, when Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. That's where a return is going to come, is going to happen. Your God ordained prodigal spouse is going to return back to you because now they understand it's bigger than marriage. Now they understand this is perfect. This is calling. This is assignment. The longer I stay out here in this prodigal lifestyle, lives are being affected by it. I got an assignment on my life. I got a calling. I get, you know, God has called me to do, you know, certain things. You know, he called me to impact certain lives. So I got to get, I got to get to it. I got a job to do, right? So once your God ordains prodigal spouse get this revelation, they're going to return to you, okay? And they're going to take you as either their husband or their wife, all right? I am Tequila Coleman. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave me a positive comment. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.